it, it's crazy because like I, I did work with uh, Rogers TV after I was done college and what have you. And I will always cover like some of the, the basketball tournaments that are happening within Peel Region at the very least. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not even saying that because it's my generation, mm -hmm. but I don't think there's been a team that's kind of tops you guys since those days. Like yeah. a few here and there, but like what you guys did, like year in, year out, you guys were consistent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, we had such crazy talent on our team. You know, we had me, we had, you know, Mike Hall and his brother Andrew Hall. Mm -hmm. You know, we had Nate Duncan, who was a guy who I've been playing with since I was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. We had another guy named Jamie Smith, who was a point guard, mm -hmm. really, really super athlete. He his was, first step was insane. Oh, yeah. You know, he was, he was kind of like, you know, he, he, he had like a, a a man's body. Yeah, he did. He really you know, did. Yeah, I'm like, like, what grade are you exactly. in? <laughs> he had a man's body like in grade, in grade nine or something. Yeah. You know, he, he, he ended up going to college playing football and, and baseball. You yeah. Know what I mean? like he, he, he was Bo Jackson, basically. Yeah, basically. So, you know, we had him. You know, we had a great supporting cast coming off the bench. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of guys who we actually played uh, Mississauga Monarchs with and won OBA championship with played on our team. So, yeah. we had a great core, a great nucleus, man. And it was just, it was an, it was an amazing time for basketball and Peel, man. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we ended up going against Gates, Father Gates, a couple of times too, and um, it, it was a great time, man. And, and, and those kind of memories, man, I always, we all, I always come back and talk to, about them. Whenever I come back and mm -hmm. I see people around, I see people who played for Gates and other Peel schools. We always talk about those days, and we used to go head to head. <coughs> and um, it was, it was, it, like I said, it, it, it was, it was really the start of the resurgence of Peel basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, now you see, if you look at the power rankings, you see like you know Deville and Campion and. Um, St. Marcellinus, who now has Roland Barrett's son going yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? And now Peel, now Peel Region Basketball is powerhouse, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's like the best teams are in Peel now. You yeah, know what I mean? so, and it took you guys, took exactly. our generation to basically like break down those barriers, essentially. Exactly. For sure, for sure. Speaking of breaking down barriers, man, like it's always been such, you know, a stigma for Canadian basketball to be recognized. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's now starting to happen with the likes of Andrew Wiggins and Anthony yeah. Bennett, Andrew Nicholson. Uh, Kelly Olenek, uh, Tyler Ennis, Corey Joseph, we came back home basically. Yeah, exactly. So would you say that it was your generation who helped out the younger ones coming up now? For sure. Um, we definitely opened a big door when it came to um, scouts coming into the country and seeing these kids. I mean, like I, I remember um, a lot of coaches who I still see to this day coming back to Toronto um, mm -hmm. to scout these kids in these AU tournaments and mm -hmm. whatever. Um, I'll see them and they'll message me on Facebook and hey, or, hey, you back home? I'm in, I'm in your city. Let's go grab, you know, let's go grab a bite to eat. Let's go talk about things. Like yeah. these are guys who who coach now at Wisconsin and at mm -hmm. all these other schools, but they recruited me and they remember me. You know, yeah. they remember the big impact I had. So they still hit me up to see what I'm doing and, and keep mm -hmm. up with me. And I've seen some of these guys and uh, I'll talk to them and they'll be like, hey, like, <coughs> man, we come to Canada every summer and the first time we ever came to Canada was, mm -hmm. was to recruit you. Yeah. First time ever. So like that, that's like a great feeling to know because. It, it, it lets you know that you oh, that that me personally, I opened the door for them to come to Canada more mm -hmm. and see these kids. Um, there's a crazy story I tell people all the time. Um, you know, one time I, we had practice right after school, basketball practice. Mm -hmm. um, it was probably like a 3 30, 4 o'clock practice, whatever. I walk in the gym, um, you know, I'm walking in the gym and I see um, one of our, our PE teachers mm -hmm. talking to this guy wearing a green golf shirt, green yeah. polo. Yeah. And I'm like, because that guy looks familiar. Like, who is that guy? Like, who's he talking to? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I look closer and like, he was talking to Tom Izzo. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Like, Tom Izzo was in our gym. Like, That's insane. In the gym in Loyola. Like, just, just walking around the hallways. Like, yeah. yo, like, hey, hey, shaking hands. Like, hey, I'm Tom Izzo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and you look at it and this guy, Tom Izzo, he's one of the greatest college coaches of all time. Oh, yeah. He flew, he flew a private jet to come to, to Toronto, whatever, come to Mississauga and walk through our hallways and see, meet my teachers, meet my principals, talk to yeah. me, just kind of feel the whole vibe out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. That was never even heard of happening. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure coaches can't even do that because of regulations now. Of course. But, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> but like, but like, don't want to tamper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 But, but the fact that he, you know, the fact that back in the day when they could do that, that he did that, like, it, it was like an amazing experience that nobody's ever been through. So yeah. I'm glad I was able to open those doors. Um, secondly, apart from opening the doors, there's also been a big resurgence in um, just putting more attention and detail and um, you know, pushing the game farther as, as there was when I was coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, now you have these schools, as I mentioned before, St. Marcellinus, mm -hmm. you know, they, you have these schools that are now um, elite level schools and um, sports program schools, and they're able to recruit kids from all across the country. Mm -hmm. And not only that, they get more funding for like weight rooms and facilities, and, and these kids are actually going to school for basketball. Yeah. So what they're doing is they have a period where they're able to train you're able to like get in the gym and work out with the coaches and stuff like that. And that's a big step in the right direction because 
a lot of times people who I went to high school with, they went to prep schools in the States because that's how prep schools are run in the States. But now that there's a bigger attention to detail on that in Canada, these kids are able to stay at home in Canada, get that level of development, um, you know, and not miss a step when it comes to them going to D1 schools.